Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the United Kingdom. We are on a bit of a road trip. We're going to be here for about a month. And we haven't actually updated the channel properly, but we're here to do... The main reason is Modball Europe 2017, which is going to be gangster. We did Modball 13 in Europe. Yep, yeah, with a couple of other friends, Joel and Russ and Louis. Uh, we've come back this year, unfortunately, Louis, work commitments and house commitments and being a real man unlike us. And We're but, still children. Yep, um, he, he can't make it, but yeah, we've come over and we're baiting ourselves with Louis for the for a little bit before the run. Um, and yeah, we're going to head down to London next week. Um, but yeah, ready for the start line. But, today's video, um, while we're waiting for the Maloo to be registered, we're still not 100% sure that's going to be ready. Fingers tightly crossed and toes. Um, we're actually in a 2014 Volkswagen Caddy. Yeah, it's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool runabout. And again, courtesy of uh, Louis and yeah, PGVM. So thank you very much, guys, for hooking us up with this wicked little beast. Uh, but while we've got it, let's do a video. Yeah, can put it on the channel. <clears throat> so it's a 2014 model. This shape came out in 2013. It's a fairly decent refresh on the previous generation. It's got the 1.6 turbo diesel. It's around 100 horsepower. It's got 250 torques, and it goes all right. For yeah, a commercial vehicle. Yeah, it's not not big power figure, especially, you'd probably be hard to find a car after 2005 in Australia with those those sort of numbers, but it's it must be really light or something because it goes good enough. It is quite light, it's 1500 kilos according to the internet, but the torque, the way the torque comes along, it feels, feels nippy. And actually, to drive it in general, feels easy. It's a very, feels like a Golf. Yeah, in fact, the only thing that's different is the seating position. You're a little bit more upright in this, but the steering feels the same. Yeah, this one has IVAC dampers and springs. It's sitting, I think, two or three inches lower than a standard one, and on some low-profile tyres, so it actually handles quite well. It handles awesome. It feels like a like a go-kart, man. It's they're yeah, they're good. I mean, it is to be fair, it is pretty similar to a Golf. Um, a little bit more commercial with the stuff you touch, but it just means it's going to wear a lot better, which is good. I, it's. For a, it's still sort of small for a commercial car, especially coming from from Australia. But it's there's plenty of room in the cabin. There's nooks and crannies everywhere, which is awesome. And I know you can't see anything through the back, but visibility through the front with these like front quarter glasses and everything is is awesome. I like it. Yeah, it's definitely an easy car to drive. And Louis was actually saying that they've managed to get two full size motocross bikes in the back, which is pretty impressive. It's got a lot of storage space to be able to fit two MX bikes in there. That's a pretty cool package. Like I'd run, I'd rock one of these in Australia. Yeah, be able to get into all the car parks nice and easy. Be good. Now for our completely pointless zero to hundred time, we couldn't actually find any official figures on this. I think it's going to be around the twelve second mark. Definitely double digits. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, especially if you yeah, yeah, when you're talking sub hundred kilowatts, it's it's going to take a while to get to hundred k's an hour. But let's go and see what it can do. Let's do it. Well, we just had the runs done, and the UK driver must be better than the one in Australia because he actually went faster than what we thought it was going to go. <laughs> yeah, that never happens, but this was surprising. It's um, like I know that a lot of the other Volkswagen models do have all the different driver modes, mm -hmm. which unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately the Caddy doesn't have, but it's like um, once it started doing the runs, it sort of came into its own. Yeah, it's, it, it's a ready little engine. It's, it, these modern diesels blow us away, and we don't get enough of this sort of tech in Australia. It's just not wanted, really, because fuel's not as expensive. But it sort of hooked up. It's got the quite wide tyres on this thing, which is definitely going to help it. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, the, the wheels that went on when it was lowered, which look awesome, they've got some pretty decent tyres on there, which has probably got to help, but genuinely surprised at how well it pulls. Yeah, and even coming off the line, like, it was braking traction, but it was still getting the move on. It didn't just sit there spinning. But like driving around now, it sort of feels sort of, sort of docile and slow. I, mean, I guess it's like that to be economical, but yeah, once it started doing the runs, it 
come to life a little bit, which is good. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty impressive little car. Like I said earlier, it's like driving a Golf. It's just a little bit, well, it's a lot bigger. And it's a van. Mm. <laughs> uh, one thing I do want to say, this does have the stop-start thing, which I guess you get used to it. It just freaks me out when I'm not <laughs> expecting it. I have to turn it off because I feel I keep thinking I've stalled the car or something. Anyway, well, we're in the UK. We're going to try and do as many cars as we can, um, especially since we're not in the Malou, unfortunately. But if you've liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. So we're not fucking strong, so fight It doesn't matter who's strong or